What's up everyone, how you all doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome my friends back to another Minecraft tutorial. As always, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm doing fantastic and today we're going to be building this really simple little chicken coop. Now the great thing about this build guys is not only does it look cool, but it also gathers up the eggs from the chickens at the back. So you can come around to this little chest here and as you can see we're already gathering a ton of eggs already. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway guys, enough talking, let's dive straight in with the tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how simple it is to build this thing. Alright guys, for this build we're going to need some dark oak logs, spruce slabs, blocks and stairs, dark oak stairs and slabs, some cobblestone walls, spruce fences, glass blocks, coarse dirt, some grass path, spruce trap doors, some normal rails, a chest, a hopper, and an item frame. And with that being said guys, let's get straight into the build. Alright guys, we're going to start by placing four oak logs in a shape of a square, leaving one block between them, just like so. Then we're going to grab a chest, and at the back we're going to place a chest just between those two logs. And then we're going to go in between at the front and place a hopper going into the chest. Now, we're going to raise the pillars until they are three blocks high, so there's two more on top. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then in between these gaps, we're going to place a spruce planks. Obviously, we can't do it at the back because we have the chest, so we just place it just there. Above the chest, we're going to place two upside down stairs, just like so. Now, grab yourself some normal rails. Place one on top of this block at the front and then one in front of it. And then once you've got this uh, little ramp bit here, break the one at the back. Now grab yourself some glass blocks and place one, two and three, just like so. And then get your spruce planks again and then just place them on top of your glass blocks. Now we're going to grab our cobblestone walls and we're going to place them in front of these logs on all sides. So like that like that, like that, and like that. Now, on the front and the back of the build, we're gonna put two spruce fences on top. And at the sides, we're gonna just put one, just like so. Okay, we should now have something that looks a bit like this. And now, we're gonna get ourselves some dark oak stairs and some dark oak planks. Now, starting with the dark oak stairs, you're going to place an upside down one on the sides, just like so, above these little uh, these little pillars. And we're going to do the same on the side here. Place a dark oak slab in the middle, and then one on each end, like so, making sure you place it on the top half of the stairs. We're going to do the same here, so one in the middle, then one on the end, and one on that end. Now, we're going to place one on top of that fence, one on top of that fence, and the same at the front, one on top of that fence and that fence. Place a full block in the middle like so, and in front of it we want an upside down dark oak stair like so. Do the same at the front, just like that. Then get your dark oak slabs, go one, two, three, just there, one, two, three, just there. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our spruce trapdoor or dark oak trapdoor, it doesn't matter, you can use any one you want. And go ahead and place that just on the top edge like so. And guys, that is pretty much, that is it done. It is that simple. Now just to neaten it up and make it look a little bit nicer, grab yourself an item frame. Place one just there above the window at the front. And then place two at the sides like so. Then grab your spruce trapdoor again and place one on the top edge of the glass sticking out. Now you can open and close this if you want, but I like to leave them open. I just think it adds a nice little bit of detail and put it on the top part of your glass blocks, just like so. Now I'm going to grab an egg and then I'm going to grab some cocoa beans because they kind of look a bit like seeds. These seeds are green. I don't like the look of them. So that's why I'm using the cocoa beans. But you can place anything you want in 
these little uh, iron frames on the floor. And what they kind of look like is like feeding um, feeding bowls. Place an egg in that one, so it identifies it as a um, as an egg farm, so it can collect your eggs. Now, if you're in survival, you want to get up here and you want to get yourself a few eggs and start throwing them in here, breaking them, and hoping that a chicken will spawn. And just keep doing that until you get as many chickens in there as you want. I'm in creative, so I'm going to go ahead and just place a few chickens in here like so. That will do. And that's it, guys. That is as simple as anything. There's not, no need for anything else, no redstone, and all of your eggs will appear in this chest just here. Now, if you want to make a little pen like I did over there, it's very simple. If you want to make another one of these little chicken huts next to it, you can. I've done two in this pen over here. Um, but for now, we just work with the one. So what I did is simply place some um, pillars just around it. So put in your dark oak uh, logs. Give yourself a bit of room around. So we've got a two block gap at this side. Let's get a two block gap at this side. Make sure the pillars are all lined up like so. Then let's quickly just grab some materials. Let's get some stairs. We'll get some uh, spruce slabs. We'll get some dirt and some grass path. And that'll do for the moment. So let's grab some more of that. And what we'll do is we're going to place a log there and there. So let's do that again. There, there and there. Let's make sure those are in line. So that way we can place a fence there and a fence there. And we have a one block gap in the middle. Then go ahead and fill in your fence all the way around so that your chickens can't escape. Just like that. Now, very important guys, make sure you put a slab on top of all of these logs. Otherwise your chickens will be able to jump over them. And then go ahead and get yourself a spruce wood gate. And we can go ahead and place that in the center there. And make sure it's spruce, not oak. Just like so. And that's your little pen all in place. Now, what I like to do, I like to make them look a little bit messy. So the best way to do this is literally get your cool, cool stuff and go around and just place loads of it around. Make sure it's not normal dirt because all that'll do is turn to grass because it'll be attached to some grass blocks. So go ahead, make a messy kind of pattern. Just put dirt, uh, cool stuff here, there and everywhere. Sorry guys, my words are going a little bit off. I do apologize. Just kind of randomly. There's not no kind of set place or set way for doing this. Just basically make the ground look a little bit messy. You can also place it underneath the item frames. Just make sure you change it very quickly. Okay, something like that should do. Then go ahead and get yourself a little grass path underneath all of these blocks heading in. And then just kind of scatter a few of the grass paths around. Now obviously in survival guys all you need is your shovel and you can just uh, swipe the ground with this. Just scatter this all about. You don't need to change everything because you know a little bit of variety makes it look good. So leave a few grass blocks in there just to make it look a little bit nice. I think that looks pretty good. And then the last couple of things, you're just going to need some grass, maybe a couple of odd flowers, and some dead bushes. And then what I do is go ahead and go just a few dead bushes scattered about. Kind of just make it look a little bit rough. Place a few flowers. I, I'd use this white azure blue. I, I think it's azure blue or something like that. And then just place a few bits of grass around in here just to make it look kind of overgrown a little bit and a little bit rough. And that pretty much does the job. I think that looks like a pretty good pen. And then 
finally, what I do, just to make it look like a proper little chicken pen, I get a few more chickens, not too many, and I just place them in this pen here. Alright guys, and that just about brings us to the end of the tutorial. So, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed this build. If you did find it useful and it helped you out, please be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out. And if you'd like to see more builds like this in the future, then why not consider subscribing to the channel? I post tutorials on a weekly basis, plus I have a Let's Play series that I do once or twice a week as well. So, if that's your sort of thing, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But with that being said, this is Blue Nerd signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next one.